We're about 30% springs, 30% stamping, 30% sheet metal, and about 10% machining. Our sweet spot is all the stuff that people don't want to do. We like the high tolerance, the hard parts, the stuff that people shy away from. And if you're a customer and you come in with a new project, our owners and our upper management is not scared of going and getting new equipment for that project. Hi, I'm Brad Moore from Southern Spring and Stamping. We specialize in springs, stamping, sheet metal, and machining. We're a privately owned company. Uh, we've been around for over 60 years now, a debt-free company as well, so when we go to get equipment, it gets to our facility pretty fast. There's no financing needed. We can prototype and we can take you to production as well. We can make one part and we can develop another prototype and then another until you really dial it in and it gets ready for production. So. Low quantities, we're not scared of. That's something that we do. Made in America. You know, we're not going to be the cheapest, we're not going to be the most expensive, but we're going to be the highest quality. We have less than a 1% rejection rate on our parts. Any tooling that we build for the customer, we maintain. You don't see sharpening charges. If the tool breaks, we fix it because we built it. So we maintain it for the life of that tool. So this part goes into the water industry, and it is a uh, interesting part because a lot of people don't want to deal with the low volumes. When we helped redesign this part, we helped the, the customer save costs. It cut their price about 25% from what they were originally paying when it came in house. We're just a warehouse that happens to make parts. So we have plenty of space to store these because we do make six, 700, and they just call up and say, I need 100. We put them on a the truck the next day. Here's a part that we ran 25 million of. Started in our flat department where we worked out all the bugs in our design, and then we ended up building tooling and a progressive die to make these, to run the 25 million parts. You know, with our new laser, we have a lot of prototyping capabilities. We're faster now. They can cut to up to one inch steel. This part, we now blank this out in the laser and we finish it off in our CNC machining centers. It cuts the machining time in half on these parts. The material will be on restriction as far as we can do one inch steel, three quarter aluminum, five eighths copper. Forming is a different story. We'll form up to about uh, 125. Now this part in particular is very different. It's made for the food industry. This part is stainless steel. Any equipment used on this has to only be used with stainless steel. We can't cross contaminate because then it'll show rust inside of here. So right here, we blank this out flat, we form up the sides and we form this part around and weld it on here. And once this weld is done, we have to go in and clean it up. It's part of the process for the requirements of the part. So the weld in here, we actually have equipment that has a solution with the electric charge that cleans up the welds so they look nicer on the inside. And you can see how well the welds are when you're all done. Okay, we do a wide variety of springs. We do compression, extension, torsion, double torsion. And a lot of people don't realize that a flat part can be a spring as well. Our only restriction is we go up to about a half inch in wire diameter, which is roughly back here. And we can also go down to 004, which is roughly half the thickness of your hair. Our biggest customer, we probably make oh, almost a a thousand different part numbers for them of just springs. We did a two-year audit to become a Bell Helicopter Class 1 supplier. They only use one other company that does springs and stamping for them besides us. And it's just one of those things that our shop was geared for. Our ovens are up to the standards, our equipment is up to the standards, and it's something that we do well. Yes, we do progressive and we do single hit die. You're doing it because there's stress that happens to the metal and there's forms that need to happen that can't happen all at the same time. That's why you do the progression as you go along. This is the part that comes off, and this goes into the lighting industry. You know what, use our 60 years experience to work with you, to helping you develop your parts, taking it from a prototype to production. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.